Okay, so the situation with small multiples. You want to display a visual, but you want to create micro versions of it for one of your data dimensions. So for example, I can create a monthly trend of revenue and show that for different years. So every year will have its own monthly trend. Let's take a look. So if I go to my field pane and I expand my field pane like this, if you remember, these are data set doesn't really have any fields for years, months, and columns. But the way Power BI works by default, pending when you make one or two changes, is that every date field you have is going to be automatically um, broken down into hierarchies of year, months, quarters, and days. So if I go to my data view now, you can see that I have this order date uh, field here, right? But on the right hand side, this is the order date field right there. You will see that it comes with an arrow to say that there is a hierarchy here that I can expand or that I can drill down to. So I'm going to click on the arrow here. It's going to show me there's a date hierarchy. When I click on the arrow on the date hierarchy, it shows me that this date actually has been broken down into hierarchies of year quarter months and days okay so i'm going to go back to my reports view now so one thing i can do is you know if you want to display trends um in visualization you always want to make use of a line chart so i'm going to use this line chart here and i'm just going to make it a little bit bigger for visibility then i'm going to expand my order dates i'm going to expand the date hierarchy and I want to pick month from here. Then I want to go to my sales and I want to pick my sales as well. So as you can see, I've got my month on the axis and my on, on the X axis rather, and the sales on the Y axis. So the visual you have now is showing the revenue that has been made for every single month however this doesn't break it down by year so if we have four years of data what we are looking at right now is the revenue for each month but combined for every single year so let's take month of march for example in the month of March, this 205,000 is a combination of all the money we've ever made in the month of March, regardless of the year. And if I wanted to break it down to show differently for each of the years, remember what we used to do, break down, we use legend. So I'm going to have to drag my year and I have to put it under my legend. So let me just scroll down here first so I can see my legend field. So I'm going to drag my year and I'll put it in legend. Thereafter, I can have four different lines. So these four different lines now, all in the same single line chart, is going to show me the revenue for uh, each of the months for each of my years. And we typically do something like this when we are trying to look for seasonality patterns in our data set, right? So this is just four years monthly um, revenue trend. So with this, for example, you'll be able to look at the shape of your line chart and you might be able to pick up if there are certain months that have similar uh, spikes across all the four years, right? So say, for example, if you check uh, the pattern between the months of September and December, you will see that going from August, each of our years basically went up. All four of the years, there were increases. And then going to October, all same four had a drop as well then going to november all four of them actually had an increase as well right so you know that's kind of like where you want to spot seasonality pattern between september and the month of november for example but right now what we are currently displaying now is putting in all the four years of revenue together in the same visual space but if we wanted to see the trend, so let me just remove this legend for a second. So you can see how we have just a single line chart now. Now imagine if we want to display this single line chart that we see, just one line chart, right? But I want to create it four different times. 
So I can have one line chart like this for 2014, another line chart for 2015, 2016, and 2017. Instead of, you know, combining all the line charts together in a single form, I basically want separate line charts for each of the years. That is small multiples. And that's when I'm going to have to bring in my year and I'm going to drop it under small multiples. Then you will see that I have four different line charts displaying the trends for the four different years in the data.